Hello there. In this video, we're going to take this photo and by using stable diffusion, we're going to create all these different type permutations or different types based on this photo. Our goal is to keep it same consistent figure, same face, but just change everything else, including from outfit to background. So let's go ahead and start working on this. For the beginning, we want to use it the image to image options and stable diffusion and we also want to use it control net in this example i'm using stable diffusion with automatic 1111 installations and i will provide for you a link down below for this and as extensions we're going to use it the control net extensions so you can install if you don't have it by going in available link click on the load search for the control net and you can install from there if you have any problem installation i will provide also a link down below for you so you can go step by step how you can install stable diffusion and also how you can install control net the one important thing for us it is be sure we have it three at least three tops enabled because we're going to use it in control net at three different options adjustment for this you can go inside the settings go down below it says control net on your left side click and here you can see you have it multiple control net models is preloaded and cache size so i have it at three models at least and usually i set max uh pre-cache it's similar how many models use it but you don't need to do that so most important for us it is this three so we have it same amount tabs as we're going to use be sure you click in apply settings and reload your ui to verify everything is installed you go ahead click on text to image down below you should see control net click down and here you should see at least three tabs if you already install control net on your system go back to extensions install it and click right here check for the updates okay and most likely you will see like right here new commits available so it's mean new updates to do this you just go ahead click apply and restart and you'll notice it will restart your machine preloaded you also can monitor your service where you can see it is uploading most likely the change is done because it's so actively developing as a stable diffusion as a um, automatic 1111 and same as control most likely you will have it errors like this come up and even at startup the errors probably happen due to different uh, updates on the python a libraries that using inside stable diffusion and new update with control net if this has happened what you need to do is turn off this server that you currently running and restart most likely when you restart it you'll notice right here it is says new stuff updated it's downloading and updating to have this after update you just need to add line inside your config git pull i'll provide also link down below for you for the installations where i also went over suggestion on how to modify your batch file for proper execution so right now you can see it's take a little bit time to update new changes and restart our server when the server finish installations you will notice you'll have a link down below which says our local running server and port so it's meaning we're ready to use our next step it's preloading image we're going to use we're going to image to image tab take our image we're going to use and just drop it so right here is our base image next step what i want to do it is preserve the face expression even we can change everything i still want to do this let's go see what actually happened if we just render as is for this test i'm going to use it rpg version 4 checkpoint model and i will be using the prompts from the user guide from the rpg i'll post a link for this pdf down below so you can download it and use it it's a free pdf and have an excellent excellent guide on the prompts and how to use it with this current model okay so we go ahead and use the prompt from the example right here as well we're going and use it negative prompt same from same manual okay copying and pasting next thing is what i want to adjust and this is mostly related to this specific checkpoint it is we're going to use a sampling method to dpm plus plus two as a cars 
we're going to use it at least 35 we want to use it a little bit higher maybe 45 and let's go ahead we'll use it 45 sampling sampling we leave it dead noise on 75 usually you want to go a little bit down to 60 or at least 7 and cfg scale we'll put it to 6.5 this is optimal um, settings for our rpg as the size is same because model is was trained um, training on 512 by 768 I'm going to utilize same resolution sizes to use it as this our checkpoint or model was trained on notice we don't have any control net utilizations or anything else let's go ahead and click generate and as we render we can see right here we have an image let us follow our prompt but it does not resemble image what we have it at all so for this we need apply additional options it's where the control net can help so let's go ahead and switch to control net what i'm going to do is click down expand control net and in control net we're going to utilize three options first what we need to do is apply the pose what we have for our character for this we're going to same take this image upload it what we're going to use it we'll go ahead and select preprocessor open pause full so i'm going to use and to preview i'm going to click on this icon you can see right here like a red star let's run preprocessor this way i can preview the image that created okay it's look right to me next what i want to do is preloaded special model same where we have it open pause by the way to this preprocessor and additional the open pause model i got additional video it will be inside the control net installation because sometimes you need to upload additional preprocessors for you to use but generally if you install it those should be included as default okay next let's go look down what we have it right here you can see control mode and for me for this reason i want to use control net to most extent so i'm going to click and enable control net is more important this options also for now we have a control weight set to one but if we're using more different units of control net then we'll need to adjust this as well so right now let's go ahead and click generate and of course it does not look this pause because i forgot to enable my control net for some reason i do this all the time let me know if you're forgetting to do this as well let me go ahead enable now this control net and go ahead let's click generate by the way first time when you enable it will look down you'll notice right here it's a preloading this model so it may take a little bit time don't uh worry about because first time when it's creating it's preloading this model and after this it will start generating you can always open keep it open your um server windows where you can monitor process and if it's still going or it is stuck and then now we can see it definitely have the pose similar to what we have it of course position of the head and some details like clothes and everything is missing so for this we need to utilize another portion of the control net and we're going to second tab control net now same we go ahead and upload the image we're going to use and for this actually i'm going to use the canny they can give me outline and shapes including for the face hair outfit clothes and all other things so let's go ahead right now we'll go click again to pre-processing and generally i'm looking and it's not too many details so to increase details we need to take low threshold bring down and as well high threshold let's go ahead click again to pre-render and now we'll notice we we'll should have it quite a bit more details here okay we also can increase and this is a lower details you can pop up and this is our higher so between those two variables there you can play around Gen general what i want to be sure i see all outline of the face this kind of important for me and also some details like chain and other ones overall don't worry about pause too much because we have another control net if you remember one with the open pause this is mostly for the details of course we go ahead and click enable one thing i want to do at this point i want to decrease weight for this control net going down to 0 0.7 and set control net is more important in this case just click down here 
Next we'll go also to first control net 0 and same decreasing to 0 0.8. This way we're balancing between those inputs. At this time let's go ahead and click generate. Okay, so let's go ahead, you render and it sometimes come like error does not look same and if we look right here, open pause, fail to load it. And this is related again if you skip some step. In my case, let's go back to our second control net. You'll notice I forgot to select model. Of course, I need to select can model. This will should resolve our problem. Okay, after this, we should go ahead and start generating. And in this case, we can preview. Now it's everything loaded properly. So many times when I have some error occurred by processing or other things, it's due to forgetting check or um, enable box or check preloaded models or preprocessor. Okay, now we have it our render. You can see it is much better now definition on outfit. Close is match what was before right here, position and face. We also can click and preview what is was render in this case. By the way, if you want to have this additional information displayed, this is will be inside the settings, control net, and you just need it uncheck, do not append detect med on output. Okay, let's go back to our preview. Okay, that is look nice, um, but face does not necessarily resemble what I wanted. To resemble the face, I actually need to use it in painting. Let's go ahead, click right here in paint, and it will transfer our image to inside the in paint. Notice we still have it all our settings. For in painting, we'll go ahead, select the paint tools, and I'm just uh, mask the face. Okay, beside matching, uh, masking face, we also need to look on settings what we have right here. Important is mask blur. It's how many this mask blur inside. If we have a value too high on a blur, let's go ahead and generate this one. You'll notice we'll start having it like outline or mask does not going very well because it's a start having blending too high. If we have it a mask too low, then we'll have it very sharp. Okay, so right here we in paint and notice if we create it, it is in painting just in a face opposite what we wanted and because our options this says was in paint mask we need set in painting not masking so it's going all over other areas let's go ahead and click generate okay so the face definitely look better we don't have any extra line just a little bit right there we need to soften maybe reduction a little bit on the painting or take our brush and come a little bit up to chin i think a little bit down below um, all of rest it was replaced. Okay, let's go ahead. What I'm going to reset everything. Click again on paint face and just go and paint eyes, nose around this area. This is what I found out. It's most important, and of course, the rests will be very close to this. So we go chin, a little bit on the forehead, and maybe cheek right there. There you go. This will be much better mask for us to do. The one thing I noticed sometimes background it still does not painting very well so to paint a background when we need it or replace a little bit more with this we can add additional control net so this is will be our third one same we'll go ahead and put it our model inside but for this one i want to actually oops, scroll down use it depth uh, filter and we're going to use a depth laris plus plus we'll select this one and let's preview what's happening here. If we click on a pre-processing, you'll notice we'll create a depth mask, which we can use it for different reasons. And one of them, we can isolate background and just keep it point on our figure. To do this, we can select percent of remote background and move it. Usually we can start about 50, maybe 60, and click again, pre-processing. And you can see where the black is cut off. So it will help us to integrate background a little bit better in our scenery. In this case, I want actually says my prompt is more important because I want actually background be replaced based on the strings what we're putting in. 
as well let's go down and check we want to enable and we want to be sure select model and we'll go with a depth on this so depth layers plus plus and model depth enable control weight let's put it down a little bit to 8.0 we'll keep it my prompt enable we have the right sizes and we're ready to generate one thing when we add every control net processor it does take additional time and notice right here because we pre-cache some other models right now we have a third model loading and it is our depth when it's processing depth you'll notice it will process in iteration specifically and it will help us to isolate and create a little bit better background okay so it's look nice however i maybe want to play with a little bit different prompt so we'll have a little bit more depth of field again i'm using prompts from the um, rpg4 manual we'll just go click and let's go generate and one thing i still notice i have it still a little bit wrong uh, negative prompt and this was done because the original we want to create a like model uh, mail with a kind of plus i don't know the marble look so we'll need to ch change a little bit our negative prompt to match this so let's go ahead right here paste our other negative prompt and generate okay even we change we can still see it's kind of a resemble background still be dark close is similar what if we want to have it more dramatic change what if we want to change the background the more total different maybe even make bright colors and we can do this if we're going to work with mass content right now you can see mass content original the other properties where we can use it the fill or late nothing late nos will produce some artifacts i'll show you in a second so let's go ahead and switch the fill and see how this will affect and if we look now it's definitely a huge change different background different little bit lighting produce some backlight we have a leg instead of chair so you can see how much changing Let's go ahead just as example i'll put it late noise on this we'll go generate now again okay so right here and you can see it's creating kind of noise for us okay next we can go ahead and switch to late and nothing okay and this come up much better and cleaner one thing what i don't like when you utilize a little bit feel or other things it's a amount of a freedom a creative freedom that ai have it and i maybe want to still have it like chair or other things in this case we needed to reduce some amount of the string noise and scale so let's go ahead put this to the six and decrease this to 0 0.6 this way we can create a little bit more keeping to our original image as we're using and let's try okay so it's come up very nicely we can try even different strings same we'll copy from um, our manual let's generate now and here we have it our image actually it's come up very nice um also sometimes the skin maybe does not match thorn and for this we actually want to type what type of the skin you want it a little bit um, or color it will work in this case if you apply the palette let's go back right now to original in just to compare what's happening if we're using same dark elements here and here we have it our image if you look on this it is keeping same darker background chair so it's getting closer to this and overall i think the coloring depends how you're going but just give you overall overview that you can customize and change okay so here's our model we can preview all with a facial everything this is our canning applied we could can maybe add try more details and see what this come up and as well we have it isolation sorrow background would help us add more details to background and a little bit more flexibility in this case so let's try adjustment few things we'll go to control net our two and we'll increase this to about nine okay next we'll go to our can and pop up this actually increased to nine as well and a little bit adjustment so we'll go take to about 100 okay let's click on preview and only notice we add a little bit more details and let's look on our threshold so we can pop up 
lower quite a bit and then we reduce some slow details or if you want a little bit add more details take a bit more down like 32 and we add more details so let's try with more details here and same on this control net let's increase value you don't want to create value too high they start will conflicting but general this should work just fine same we'll leave it cfg we'll leave it this about the noise 0 0.6 um you can go maybe to 0 0.5 but then you get it too closer and not enough noise for ai to create additional details so you lock yourself kind of in the what preview on this case next in painting area all picture of the mask could be supplied and we don't need to worry about right now mask because otherwise it will treat everything as a mask and padding applied to this so we're okay right now and value is not will work because we are select all pictures okay steps let's go ahead and increase to maybe 75 this is quite a bit high but again with the, this specific model they recommend to go a little bit higher on the steps because it will add way more details in this case okay let's go click preview and let's generate one more time on this and after this i'm going to try another string and show you what's different can be as well okay here is our rendered image if we open and look it's a look nice see how many details it's added that's why i like to increase sometimes but overall it is fine tool so you can click and adjust those tools see how they work let's go ahead and try one more um prompt Okay, and right here it's our you'll notice sitting so it's kind of nice pose same hands we still have a little bit leg but it's beautiful how it's set up and we can also do again with a feel just to see the difference between select the mask contact used original settings or use it fill everything and create that way okay so right here we have our image i do like how it's come up it's very nice overlay and let's say you like what you receive, you like your image. Problem is our first image, what we're using, it's about 3000 pixels, it's quite a bit large size, big, and I want to increase in size. We can do this two ways, very easy, actually more than two, but one I find the work very well. One is actually build in, you just need to click right here, send to extras, and this will open an extra type, and you can see we can upscale this, we can upscale quite a bit size, but let's leave it right now as default and as the upscaler you can use a different ones that you like it i would like to use the r ear scan for x so we'll just use this one the different uh, we can perform other ways and all what you need to do is just click generate which will generate upscaling on this and this is actually does a very good job on upscaling however personally i prefer to use gigapixels and reason is how upscale is work here so let me show you example we'll go drop so and reason i like using gigapixel it is the quality of ai analysis so let's come closer right here and you can see the flowers let's look on resolution look at this one this is before blur and ai analysis how actually it's done and applied and it's nice it's even applied beautiful texture to this as well as we need it look at this amount of details of course we can easy upgrade and another big plus we can do this as a batch file so if you render a lot of images you can open here and run through them well thank you for watching this video i hope you'll find this useful and fun for you to work with your photos let me know if you have any questions and have a great time creating